What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent, outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class. Summoner's Court isn't just a game, it's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant! Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. Nothing to it. Akio. That was one for the ages. Akio. Try to beat that. I'll let you have that one. Akio. All in the wrist. Akio. Eh, lucky shot. Well done. You beat me. Bit of good luck, that's all. Come now, Leander. There's no need for that. Fine, you're good. Better than I am, at least. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed. Revelio. What are you up to now?
I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Expelliarmus! You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one. Levioso! Accio! Expelliarmus! Incendio! Levioso! Accio! Incendio! Expelliarmus! Professor, do you have a moment? I do. What is it? I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House, like you. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigellus Black for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. Uh, I, I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were, uh, students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. Time itself? I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Uh as you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. Rebellion. Accio. Rebellion. Accio. You can't imagine how inconvenient. Rebellio.
Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. No one likes a coxcomb. Rebellion. Rebellion. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Rebellion. Good of you to come. My friend, Professor Fig, speaks highly of you and your resourcefulness. He was vague as to details, but mentioned your having tracked down a difficult-to-find book. 
I wondered if you'd be willing to do a little detective work on my behalf. Of course, Mr. Ollivander. Sounds most up my street. Wonderful. You see, about a century ago, an heirloom applewood wand with a fairy wing core went missing from this very shop. My great aunt suspected a student named Richard Jackdaw. He'd been serving as an assistant here and suddenly vanished. Richard Jackdaw? Like the bird. In fact, he was known to frequent the Hogwarts Owlery. We searched there, of course, but found no wand. We did find a series of statues similar to Jackdaw's. I'm certain they're a clue, but I cannot figure out where they lead. Jackdaw was last heard tittering about some pages with a map he'd stolen from Peeves. As you can imagine, the poltergeist was less than helpful. Surely you could continue searching the Owlery? Oh, one would think. However, the headmaster does not take kindly to an old wand maker loitering about the place. Can't say I blame him. Also, I have perhaps been looking for too long. I feel a fresh set of eyes, and a bright mind like yours is sure to solve this riddle. Why would the thief have taken the wand? I must admit I have no idea. From what I can gather, he fancied himself an adventurer of sorts, always looking for trouble. In fact, after he went missing, rumor had it his ghost was seen in Hogsmeade. Never heard much about him after that, but it seems as if his adventurous spirit may have got the better of him. Perhaps he thought that the wand had some special power simply because of its esteemed lineage. Astonishing how misunderstood the art of wand-making is. Is there anything special about the wand? Oh yes, it's terribly special. But not in the way you might think. It won't grant special powers to the caster, no. Nothing like that. But it will ease the hearts and minds of the Ollivanders to know of its return. And that power is immeasurable. I'll have a look for you. You've certainly given me plenty to go on. Oh, you've brought hope to this old wand-maker's heart. Professor Fig was right. You are a remarkable student. Revelio. I'd rather go alone. To a dance? Revelio. In fact, I think they should insist that we go alone. Revelio. Yes. 
I much prefer that idea. Yeah. <laughs> Revelio. Revelio. I just wish they'd hurry up. I wouldn't say Professor Howell. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Rebellion. Revelio. How in the world did people write this? Mm -hmm. 
Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. This Professor Black. Revelio. Brilliant. Lumos. Rebellion. I can appreciate Hogsmeade all year round, but there's nothing like it after a fresh. Handy resource indeed, your field. Revelio. Revelio.
Revelio. Revelio. The statues Mr. Ollivander mentioned must be upstairs amongst the owls. Revelio! Don't mind me, owls. I'm just here to help a friend. Now, where are those statues? I recognize those handles. There's someone. statues here. I'll take that, thank you. I'd best keep looking. Empty purchase. Could be the right size for jackdaws. Or statues of jackdaws. <laughs> Nothing. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Accio. This will do nicely. Oh, no statues here. Birds aren't afraid of heights. Perhaps I should look a bit higher. Accio. I'd best keep looking. <sighs> Nothing. Surprise. I'd best keep looking. Accio. Revelio. Levioso. doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Accio. Revelio. 
What's happening? Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Good news. If you've got something to hide, you found the perfect spot. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? So Mr. Ollivander was right. He wants his family wand back. Goodness. I'd forgotten about that wand. I assure you I don't have it on me. I'm almost certain I dropped it the moment I was beheaded in that cave. Oh, it was sheer folly to follow that map. What map? Ridiculous, really. Found it on some yellowed old pages Peeves had pilfered. Thought I could impress a girl. But that's a story for another day. So, you stole a wand and then followed a map on some pages that you took from Peeves and followed that map to your doom. Odd to hear it all reduced to such absurdity. But yes, why do you care about some old wand? I don't, really. Ollivander does. It's the pages I'm after. Might they be with the wand in the cave? Indeed. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? I'd be happy to show you where to find them. I think I can guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Why would you steal Mr. Ollivander's family wand? The family were always going on about how special it was, so I took it. Who could resist? Sadly, it wasn't special enough to save my neck. I fully intended to return it once I learned it was only special for sentimental reasons. But as you can see, I never got the chance. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He's got a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor, whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I doubt he even noticed they were gone. If that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you there. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, the wand and the pages are yours for the taking. Rebellion. Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion.
Off on another adventure, are we? Lumos. Rebellio. Rebellion. Lumos. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Only a Ravenclaw would travel this far in pursuit of knowledge. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros, I think it's Latin, or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed, a few landmarks, a stone bridge, a waterfall, and if I recall, a lake. Rebellion. You'll see. You've been very helpful, thank you. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. Rebellion. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Levioso. Rebellion. Stupid. 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 Stupid.
keep going. Incendio! Revelio! Incendio! Revelio! The waterfall! For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Revelio. 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 Levioso. Accio. Revelio.
Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. Incendio. Accio. Revelio. Lumos. Incendio. Incendio. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. Revelio. Lumos. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Revelio. Intramuros. From home. Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. That's a bad thing, isn't it? Risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Doris led me. I 
wonder how big this place is. Rebellion. These rooms must have something to do with opening this door. Levioso. I can shoot the symbol, but it doesn't stay lit for long. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. Rebellion. I wonder if any of these spells will help me through this. Levioso. I wonder if I can move that platform somehow.
very thorough. <laughs> Rebellion. So can I. Revelio. Rebellion. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. Myself to this. Action. <laughs> 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 
Incendio. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me. Where is it? Protego! wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Incendio! Repairal. I would have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Revelio. Sight. Hmm. But I may as well help myself to this. Akio. An untouched chest. Terrible wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave.
It's almost complete. More spiders. These can't be what beheaded with your giant. Akio! Imagine how the spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. Accio! Revelio! Round for the symbol. Repair. Lumos. I must be getting closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Oh, shame. Those splinters must be what's left of Ollivander's wand. At least I can take the pages. Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Yeah. 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 
This magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Can it be? Revelio. It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention, and might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. 
We shall speak again once the book is in place.
I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? How nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Excellent. Incendium. Rebellion. 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 
Revelio. What are you up to now? See what's up your sleeve this time, Marlin. Levioso Accio. Meet here I come.
Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Hello there, come on in. Plenty to look at here. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine Willetsy. 
Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Oh, trust me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Expelliarmus! Lumos! Enchanted candles. Wonder where they're heading. The candles seem to be leading into the Forbidden Forest. <laughs> there they are. She wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsy might get an answer about these butterflies. Lumos. The treasure must be nearby. I suppose a picnic in the Forbidden Forest could seem romantic. Treasure hunting suits me. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. Hello, Miss Willardsy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed the treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. Oh, perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare.
Revelio. Revelio. What are you up to now? Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. Nothing. Revelio. Revelio.
Sir, why do I need to complete these tasks again? Professor Weasley has asked that we all contribute extra time to help you catch up to your peers. And before I teach you to pulso, I must know that you are prepared to handle it. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? If only I could invent a new potion, something indispensable. Hips in the hat, please. I'm not tired. I'd take up herbology if it didn't involve so much drama. Oh, don't be my energy. Who do you think will fall from their broom? Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now. Let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one This'll piece. This'll take some getting used to. <laughs> this is brilliant. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This 
This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! <sighs> that wasn't too bad. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Oh. Ah! Good. I've got this. Oh, well done! At the moment? I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. So, care to join me for a bit of high-flying fun? <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. And hand in our rooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good fly. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. 
I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitches in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. <laughs>